May the 1st, 2019. Because you're looking at images yesterday of the sun from the from what we call SOHO, or the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, gives us an Earth-facing view. And what you're seeing is a coronal mass ejection, or CME, that was on the back side of the sun. What you're seeing is the sunspot AR-2738. Remember a few weeks ago we watched it come around and throw off a few small flares? Well, now it is um, rotated on the back side, and we're seeing that. But what they're saying is that it's an indicator that that sunspot is growing in size. And one of these things will do a full rotation in about uh, every 27.5 days, I think it is. So not quite a month. Well, the sun has been uh, spot free for the last several days because of this sunspot rotating. But again, they're saying as it returns, it looks like it will be strengthening. Another thing I want to talk about and I want to issue a quake watch is that we are getting an increased solar wind from an opening in the sun that we call a coronal hole. And it's like a clear day without clouds on the sun, but it's a little different. You don't have that magnetic canopy that captures the sun's energy and feeds it back into the surface of the sun. Those coronal holes are the openings uh, allow a solar stream to pour straight at Earth, and that's what we're seeing now. Let's take a look at the solar wind speed. And you notice your timestamp. This is uh, right here, 2019, May the 1st, and your time in UTC or Universal Time. In the purple line, this is speed in kilometers per second. We were down around the average, 325 here, a little dip, and then coming through. Suddenly, at about 12 o'clock UTC time, we started seeing an uptick in solar wind. As we get up in here, we're seeing spikes of, uh, as we move here, 500, 512, 515, 520 kilometers per second. And we see those spikes continue through this area. The reason I uh, always issue a quake watch during these periods, our shields are weak. There is less resistance to this incoming force. It puts pressure on our tectonic plates. It feeds electrical energy or geoelectrical magnetic energy via the our magnetic lines of force into the core of the Earth. We see an increase in volcanic activity. Again, because our shields are weak. But if you think about 515 and 520 kilometers per second, guys, that's an incredible speed. That's 116 million miles per hour. Very intense pressure. Again, our shields are weak. More impact. And keep an eye on the earthquakes tonight. All the links are BP Earthwatch. This one, the Soho images, Space Weather's. Uh, imaging of, of SOHO and solar wind speed. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.